I speak to Newsroom Africa's Dumaule Mushlaudi, who's at the Maseru Bridge Port of Entry. That's where Home Affairs Minister Dr. Aaron Mutswaledi is scheduled to appear today on a number of reasons why. You'll tell us in a few moments, but uh, just behind you, we're seeing a number of forces standing at attention. Who are they and why? Well, due to the forces standing behind me at attention are members of uh, the Border Management Authority. Uh, now, this is an amalgamation of uh, the various authorities in terms of uh, security apparatus uh, that uh, man and guard and ensure that uh, the border operates optimally in terms of, uh, of course, customs, including customs, uh, including South African police services officials. And, uh, of course, uh, we are also have uh, the border port authority officials themselves. Now, these people, if I can step out of shot, and my colleague, standing at attention as they uh, await, of course, uh, the minister's arrival, uh, are now an am amalgamation uh, of all those various uh, forces, and uh, they will be manning the various ports of entry right around the country at every border post. And uh, this is to streamline things and to ensure that uh, issues of, uh, of course, uh, maladministration and corruption, but also to make sure that things run smoothly at border posts. But let's hear from, of course, the Deputy Commissioner of the Border Management Authority, uh, that will be Ndate uh, General David Chilembe. Ndate Chilembe, uh, the thinking behind uh, the BMA. No, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the thinking behind the, B the BMA is to integrate all the government agencies that are working in the border environment in order for us to, to have uh, one uh, command and control and also be able to manage all the government departments uh, as one. And uh, how will this improve the situation uh, at the border posts like uh, the Maseru border post, which is one of the busiest, uh, I understand, of course? This will uh, improve uh, the, uh, the function uh, better for us because they will be controlled from uh, a single point of view and uh, we won't have the fragmentation that, that has always been uh, an issue. So that's how we, we are planning and that's how we want uh, to make sure that uh, we integrate all of them and they work as one. The recruits themselves, do they come from uh, the pool of staff that were already there from the various forces or uh, are you recruiting new fresh blood to come into the system? There are two processes that, that, that we are following. The, the first one is the integration of the government departments into the uh, border management uh, uh, authority in terms of the Section 97 uh, proclamation. Then uh, we have also a, a capacity um, a progr program uh, where we capacitate uh, by uh, um, uh, advertising posts in order to uh, ensure that uh, we, we have the ena enough personnel that will be working in the, in the environment. Yeah. And uh, so far, in terms of the recruits, uh, uh, how many are we looking at and uh, what would uh, be the uh, maximum or the, the, the ideal situation in terms of making sure that the border uh, functions optimally? Um, uh, currently, um, we, we, we're still working on that. However, um, uh, we're looking at having plus or minus uh, 15,000 officials that, that will be working at, at all 72 um, uh, ports of entries. What we have started on now is that uh, we have the 200 cohorts of the border guard that we are using as, as, a, as, a, as a pilot um, uh, project. As you see them uh, on parade here, those that are wearing green are the 200 cohorts that we are piloting on them. Now we'll have to leave it there. We leave it there. Thank you very much, Deputy Commissioner of the uh, Border Management Authority. Uh, that was General David Chilembe. Uh, I can tell you that uh, the officials behind me that will be members of the BMA are saluting because the minister has uh, just arrived. And uh, uh, let us give you shots of that as it happens. Uh, there you have uh, Dr. Arun Mzaledi arriving, uh, the Home Affairs Minister, uh, and uh, be given a guard of honor. And uh, he will then uh, resume his uh, oversight visit and uh, just be briefed on developments and uh, including of course uh, these new recruits. Let's see if we can get a word in uh, edgewise. Uh, Mr. Minister, uh, thanks for speaking to us on News from Africa. Welcome and uh, your thoughts on what you're seeing here. Well, uh, I'm um, taken by surprise. I'm not used to having a guard of honor <laughs> when I arrived at this border. But the last time I came here we didn't have border guards. So it shows that uh, they are in action because you'll be aware that uh, we deploy them on the 14th of July. Yes, uh, uh, and uh, now I'm, I'm quite impressed. That it means they are doing their work. But at any rate, we already know from the reports up there that they've made a, a big difference. That's why in April this year, 
we are increasing them by 200 percent actually because treasury has agreed with us on in that regard All right. mr minister where are you going to get uh, the the boots well uh this first cohort if i understand your question you are saying where are we going to get the people yes, to do the that recruits. yes exactly no then i understood you very well look the 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 first cohort were taken from already existing agencies like some were uh, in the army others were reservists in the police so they had already got some form of training that's why they were trained for a short time but the next cohort, and when I said 200 uh, percent, is going to be a total of 400 uh, uh, border guards. We are going to go to areas next to the borders to, to get them, and they are going to be trained from the scratch, which means it's going to take a long time. We are going to take raw, raw, if I may use that word, uh, young men and women in the villages next to the border areas, and they are going to be trained into border guards and join this present cohort. So, so this cohort was special because they already came knowing something uh, in terms of the training they got from the agencies where they came from. And in terms of line of command, it will also streamline things, won't it? Oh, yes. No. Remember, uh, from the 1st of April, the border management authority to which the border guards belong will be a standalone entity. At the moment, there's still a branch in the Department of Home Affairs. From April, there will be a standalone entity with the commissioner and the two deputy commissioners working, and they'll be reporting to a group of 12 ministers who have got something to do with the borders. Well, coincidentally, I'm chairing those 12 ministers. They'll serve as more or less a board to co uh, where the border guards and the commissioners will be taking their instructions from. But otherwise, in terms of the PFMA, there'll be a 3D standalone entity which full responsibility for the borders of this country in order to deal with our porous borders. And Mr. Minister, finally, uh, your visit here also uh, will see you uh, engaging uh, with counterparts from across the border uh, in Lesotho. What are you expecting of those engagements? Are they going to be cordial? Uh, what are you going to relay to them in terms, of course, of uh, uh, the crossing over and the issue of uh, um, the COVID testing and some of the controversies there? Well, I, I, I understand this to be a KTC call. I do go to the borders, as you know, in December every year and in January. And now I choose to come to Maseru Bridge because, as you know, my organization, the ANC, is having a function, January 8th function, and, uh, 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 tomorrow. So, so I decided that this year the border must visit this Maseru Bridge. But then my counterpart here, the minister, as for the KTC call, because he's new, since he was appointed, we never met. So we are really going to exchange pleasantries. I don't think, this is not a working visit between me and the, uh, and the minister. It's just to know each other. The working visit, I'm sure, will still come. So I'm not really expecting a lot of issues to be raised. If they are raised, of course, I won't be ready to respond to them, because that's not what I'm here for. Yes. No, I think we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for that. That was uh, uh, Dr. Aaron uh, Mutualedi there, uh, just giving us an overview of uh, his visit here. And, of course, it's a courtesy call uh, to his counterpart in Lesotho and uh, also to see the new recruits in action as uh, they are about to roll out their duties, uh, a unified force uh, that will come into effect later this year at all ports of uh, entry and exit uh, from South Africa. With that, it's back to you in the studio. Tumaule Mushaudi, thank you very much for that update.